All right, guys, welcome back to Sing Garage TV. Here we got a really good video for you guys. So many of these cars that come in have busted up axles. So we're going to be showing you guys how to rebuild GTR front axles. Here's the other side. This one completely came apart. They give you all the parts required and the kits that are available online. And we're probably going to start off with this one because it's a little harder. All right, first step, you're going to take all the axles and you're going to cut all the bands so you can remove the boots. All right, we got Mike here that's going to do all the cutting. We got the eye protection for both of us. First. Don't mind. Yeah, don't mind the tools. <laughs> You guys want to make sure you got plenty of rags. Make sure you clean it out fairly well. You don't necessarily need the brake clean, but if it's contaminants in there, if it's been broken for a long time, then you'll probably want to use the brake clean and clean it all out the best you can. And the point of this video, guys, is to show you guys how to do this with minimal amount of tools. Not everyone has all the latest and greatest tools. So we want to show you guys how to do this with pretty much basic set of tools. So when you're making the cut, guys... Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and, you know, the rubber creates a lot of smoke. That's really bad for your health. So you might want to be in a, you know, we're in a pretty big facility. But if you're doing this in a small garage, definitely have a fan going or, or just we'll do it outside. Some of them need the razor blades. You got to cut all the way through the boot. Best get it off. Always makes a mess. All right, once you get all the boots off, you want to separate the shaft from that part of the axle. Just like that. So after you have everything separated, you're gonna start with the inner boot first and then you do the outer boot. So you're gonna take the inner boot slide it all the way through once you have it in um, you're basically gonna get it to its position and you're gonna get that that band done first and after that band is done you're gonna get your grease and then you're gonna fill it up with grease and then do the outer band you're gonna put your band over Axes back over like this, and you're gonna beat the tabs down onto the top to lock it into place. Yeah. yeah. So each band, if you can't see, there's two tabs on each band that need to get pressed down after you flip the loose part of the band over. You're gonna take that yellow axle grease. You're gonna fill in here. Then you can slide it 
in and get the other band on and tighten it the same exact way. Nice. I'll try to use up all the grease in that tube, slide it in, and you're done with that inner boot replacement. So the next step for the other side of the axle is I always slide, slide my clamp over before I do so, so I don't forget. And again, slide it to the other notch and you're going to slide the band over so you can fill the axle up after. Then you're going to take the other side. There's a snap ring there. Got to get the boot on. We just did earlier. And you're going to tap that part of the axle back in. And we're done. Once you got the part of the outer, sorry, the, yeah, the outer axle locked into the snap ring, take your grease and you're gonna fill up that boot. And then the last step would be to take your band, lock it in, and you got your um, driver's side axle completely rebuilt. And then we'll be working on the passenger side axle. Turn on the other side now. This is what passenger side? Passenger. Yeah. So I've got the bands off. Just strip the boots back again. Cut those off. And then this side again is gonna pop off just like an axle with the spring clip inside and the splines. Okay. Don't have to mess with the yeah. cap. So if you guys are replacing this cap. In the, in the inner part of the axle that should be a little bit challenging you have to make sure you put this in extremely square when you're replacing it if not it's not gonna you're gonna have a nightmare of a time but fortunately for you guys we're showing you how not to do that so like we said we're gonna pop this side of the axle out yeah pop that out cut that boot off and you're gonna work on this side first and then you work on this side. All right, after you got the boot off, clean it up really good. Um, use the yellow, gr gr the yellow grease in the inside and the black grease on the outside. All right, guys, make sure that you use the boot that matches this side of the axle. So you're gonna slide it in from the top, just like that. Fill it up with grease, and then you're gonna do your bands. And again, you're gonna use the the, the yellow, the grease with the, the tube with the yellow grease. Ooh, I don't know, I can't open it. There you go, so it's yellow. Yellow goes on that side. Alright guys, uh, when you're putting the boots on and off, you want to make sure you remove the retainer clip. So, when you guys get the new boot on, don't forget to put it back on or you're going to have problems. And just like that. Got a passenger side axle rebuilt and ready to throw into the car. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you like and leave a comment so we know what kind of videos to make for you guys in the future.